Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Vivado. So this video is going to be very interesting as we are going to look into the programming of Boolean expression with the help of lookup tables. So we will be using the Xilinx Vivado software. So as you can see first I will go into the language templates in Xilinx Vivado and I am writing a code in Verilog so I will be searching for the lookup table in Verilog. So as you can see basically we have different types of lookup tables based on the input. So we can have LUT2 which, which means the lookup table for two inputs. Then we have LUT3 which means the lookup table for three inputs. Then we have we will have LUT4 which means the lookup table for four inputs. So based on the different type of inputs we can select a lookup table. So uh, we, here we are going to use a uh, or we will be programming a basic boolean expression for AND gate. So I will be uh, taking the code for a two input lookup table. So I will be just be copying this code from here into my main program. So basically what is a lookup table? So a lookup table is basically a data structure used to quickly retrieve the value corresponding to a given input. So it essentially functions as a pre-computed table where each possible input is directly associated with its corresponding output. So here we can see that I will try to copy this code into my lookup table. So I have created a module. So I am using a very log language. So I am I have created a module. The module name is Kush. So I, I will be uh, first uh, programming a boolean expression for an AND gate. So I will be having two inputs uh, and one output. So basically for an AND gate when any of the input when both the inputs are one one then the output is one and if any of the input is zero then the output is 0. So basically we will have the output as 1 triple 0. So S is my output and A and B are my input. So when uh, A is 1 and B is 1 then output is 1. When A is 0 B is 1 the output is 0. When A is 1 B is 0 output is 0. And when A is 0 B is 0 again output is 0. So the basically the output is 1 triple zero for the four input combination. So one triple zero in uh, binary we can write it as eight in decimal. So this uh, four uh, you can see I will replace this zero with eight because one triple zero we have seen it is equal to eight. So first I will map my uh, outputs and inputs. So I am using two inputs A and B and my output is S. Then the, I will be uh, mapping the output also so the output is 8. So as you can see we have pre-configured the inputs and the output for each input. So we have specified the uh, LUT contents, we have specified the LUT output, we have specified the LUT input as well. So our code is complete. So it consists of a module and the, basically the code for a lookup table where we specify the lookup table inputs the outputs and the contents so now we will be doing the simulation for this uh, and gate and later we will also do the simulation for the or gate so let us run the behavioral simulation so the implementation is complete now we will run the synthesis or let us run the simulation so it is executing so you can see uh, we have uh, we are into the waveform uh, so we will be uh, taking the two values of the two inputs so first i will take uh, a as uh, or we can take uh, a to be a binary value or we can take it like a clock also similarly b also we can take it like a clock also so that we don't have to uh, define the inputs again and again so this is a shortcut. So our both the inputs are now defined. Uh, let me do it again. So I am defining both the inputs A and B. And now we will verify the output. So I will run this. So as you can see, uh, I have run the code. Uh, let us now try to see the outputs. So when both A and A is one and B is one, then the output is one only. Now let us again run this. So 
so now you can see that when a is 0 and b is 0 then the output is 0 when a is 1 b is 0 output is 0 and when a, a is 0 b is 1 again output is 0 so as you can see that the AND gate is simulated perfectly so we have just designed the AND gate using the lookup table so simply we could also design any logic gate with any inputs using the lookup table so for this AND gate since we had two inputs so we use the code of lookup table for two inputs if we have any logic gate with three inputs or four inputs then we will similarly use the corresponding lookup table with three inputs or four inputs So now let us try to do for OR gate. So for OR gate simply I will change one value because when uh, for all other combinations the output is 0. Only when A and B both are 0 uh, the output is 0. For all other combinations the output is 1. So here we will have the output as 1 1 1 0. So that is equal to 14 in decimal. So simply I replaced that 8 for AND with 14 or E because 14 is denoted as e in hexadecimal so as you can see this is working like a or gate perfectly so when a is 1 b is 1 output is 1 when a is 0 b is 0 the output is 0 and in this way we can design the lookup table for any logic gate based on our inputs so just we have to uh, specify the contents and we can uh, uh, we can specify the con contents corresponding to whatever input we have or whatever boolean expression we have and the lookup and the code will work like that boolean expression so this is a very very easy way to implement any boolean expression in a very very fast way only we have to uh, see the input and the uh, contents so thank you Please like and share the video uh, and subscribe the channel also. Also, uh, you can watch all other videos related to Xilinx Vivado on my channel. Thank you. Hello.